this is Vetlana from Come With Cosplay and today I'm talking about cosplay competitions. So I'm actually already cosplaying since 2003 and I think my very first costume competition I participated in was in 2005 where I wore a quite crappy costume I would say and my very last costume competition was BlizzCon 2013 where I wore my Protoss wizard and I also won the grand prize with it, super proud of it. And yeah, since then I'm actually mainly only judging costume competitions and I thought I have now quite some experience and especially also like judge like over 100 costume competitions or something like that and since costume competitions are super fun and super awesome I thought it's finally time to give you some helpful tips and tricks uh, talk about general rules and hopefully motivate you to participate in costume competitions as well but enough about me let's start with the most important part and this is why should you actually participate in cosplay competitions in general, costume competitions are a great experience. Like you are sitting together with the other contestants, like everyone is like super supportive and friendly and like kind. Like you start talking about like different crafting techniques and like the materials you used. And, like you help each other, maybe even fix each other costumes and stuff. And it's just a great way um, to meet new people and like maybe new meet new friends who are also equally passionate about something as you. And in addition to that, it's also a great opportunity um, to actually find some motivation to finish your costume so if you struggle um, with you know like unfinished projects maybe participating in a costume competition is actually a great way and just the right amount of motivation you need to finish something a warning though don't participate because you want to win and because of the prize money for example and yes a lot of costume competitions have like amazing prices but there is like chances are very very high that there's always someone better than you and that you won't win at the costume competition and like if you put like so much time and effort and especially money into a costume it's incredibly devastating if you don't place at all and yes this happened to me as well like i put a lot of time and work and effort into a costume and um yeah worked for quite a long time on it and didn't even made it through the primary and it was like so frustrating that it almost killed all my motivation to participate at all in a costume competition and I also didn't enjoy it like meeting new people like I didn't enjoy it like just the event in general so please don't um, repeat my mistake really participate because of the people because of the experience because it's super fun and uh, because it's motivational but not because you want to win everyone can participate like you don't need to be a master you don't need to like be like god level with your costumes to participate costume competitions are for everyone and like I said like I also participated in like my third costume and it was a uh, quite crappy but you know like everyone starts crappy and like over the time your costumes just become less crappy but you can already participate like with your very first costume or like with your very last costume if you want Yes. Second point, but how do you even participate in costume competitions? First, you obviously have to sign up for the costume competition. Usually the number of participants are actually limited. So um, it's mostly first come, first serve. So do this fast. However, often um, participants actually drop out at the day of the event. So it's totally worth it to check out the event at the convention locally and see if um, some people dropped out and you can participate spontaneously. In addition to that, you obviously have to check out the rules and the limitations some competitions uh, they are limit actually um, like the the, 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 the the use of original characters fan art uh, what else like also size limitations for example or um, how much was actually made uh, from your costume or if it was like partially made by someone else so it's totally worth to check out the rules in general there are two main categories for costume competitions there are costume competitions 
options which are craftsmanship based so here it's actually more important how good your costume is and then there are costume competitions which are performance based and here it's more important to like have a cool performance like entertain the audience and like do something cool on stage in general and then there is a combination both and then uh, it depends on like which part of like a performance or craftsmanship is more important or if both is actually judged equally and if you want to sign up for a costume competition i highly recommend to check out the prize categories you can also um, participate in solo duo and group contests where you can also participate with your very best friends and motivate each other to finish your costumes and also do a really cool performance on stage so some costume competitions they have prizes for best armor best needlework, best special effects and uh, larger than life sometimes as well. And some costume competitions, they also have like best beginner cosplay, best journeyman and best master. And if you think you fit like in one of the, those categories best, just sign up here. Number three, how does the judging work? I think the most important point is that if you want to participate in a fair contest that treats you and your work with respect, this contest needs to have some kind of pre-judging because it's simply not possible that your costume uh, is going to be judged properly like while you are on stage and we judges are sitting like a few meters away from it and just trying to look at the details and without being able to talk with him. Usually you have to wait backstage or get like a time frame and then you go like to the judges room and then the judges uh, can get a closer look to your costume and like ask you all the questions and you have to talk about like everything you made and like what you're extra proud of and everything and like all the details of your costume. If you want to participate in a proper costume competition, always look for some pre-judging. This is very important. In addition to that, uh, I think I have to say that also the judges should have some kind of skill level to judge the work of the participants properly. And at this point, judges also look uh, to the inside of your costume and check out every single detail. And here's also the best time to tell the judges like um, all the things you are extra proud of, like what you learned just to make this costume, you know, like all the materials and like tools you used. And uh, it's also highly recommended to bring a build book with some progress pictures, also like maybe some material samples, because the build book is actually the very best proof that you made everything yourself from scratch. And at this point, I have to mention that you don't have to make everything yourself. Um, basically, there are even costume competitions who allow you to, like, for example, commission 50% of your costume, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, you always have to check it. But the thing is, there are some cosplayers who make like some fabric from scratch, who make like the undergarment from scratch, who even like, uh, you know, like do like the most crazy things completely from scratch. And these bring you only plus points. So make sure to mention everything even though this might be difficult if you have a tight um, time frame so make sure you're prepared you have your build book if uh, one is required and you collect like all the plus points and finally coming to the actual judging points which are based on the quality which materials were chosen how good is the finish of the costume and also the difficulty level of the um, like of the techniques were used in addition to that we also have like lightness um, how close do you look to the character basically and like this doesn't mean like you you need like to have like the same body shape or like uh, gender or like skin tone or like all the things you don't need it but it's important that for example you style your wig you have a proper makeup and stuff like that you have like all the accessories and like for example the weapon of your character you know that basically your costume is complete and you did the best effort to actually look like the character in number four, how to make a build book or how to prepare for pre-judging. So um, in general, a build book is basically a collection of your making of progress pictures of your costume you're going to make. Um, 
And you can also like uh, collect some material samples as well. Basically just take some photos while you work on the costume and then put them into a printed out uh, paper version or bring this stuff, like not the samples, but like the digital files on an iPad or another tablet. And uh, these are actually the best proof that um, you actually made the costume. This helps judges to see like how much time and effort uh, you put into your costume. And like the material samples also helps us that um, that like to see that like you consider also like different materials and you put like some thought into your material choice. Um, in addition to that, um, uh, Having a reference is also a really good idea, not just like a tiny like little uh, corner in uh, like a little page on a manga, but basically a picture of your character of the front and the back full body. This helps us a lot to actually see how close uh, you were able uh, to get to the character you want to portray. Number five, what about bought and commissioned costumes and here i sadly have to say that like most costume competitions actually force you to make your very own costume and uh, or at least make a really huge part of it and i'm a little bit or not a little bit i'm very upset about that because i think like um the cosplay community is just more than craftsmanship it's more than making your costumes from scratch and i wish there would be more costume competitions which are only focused on performance for example and i think there are a few but they are far too less and I wish there would be also like prizes only for performance and I hope some people who actually organize costume competitions are actually watching this video because I think that cosplayers who buy and commission their costumes are equally awesome cosplayers as cosplayers will also make their costumes from scratch and I think costume competitions they should inspire motivate and support the cosplay community and I think it's not fair if they exclude a huge part of this community simply because they don't make their costumes from scratch so i really hope this will change in the near future number six how to do a good uh, performance um, here we actually have to differentiate between um, a performance skit performance where you actually do like some um, some acting tell a story and stuff like that where you actually have like something between one and three minutes on stage or where you actually just go on stage for example for a masquerade and basically only show off your costume portray like your character a little bit and just be in character when it comes to like just go on stage for like as said masquerades you know just um make sure you're in character for example if you're a warrior you know just don't don't go like that on stage you know just be mighty be strong maybe do like a battle roar and stuff like that try to impress the audience you know like just just be awesome and be in character and you know like at, at this point like judges also look into like how well you portray the character how in character you are so just don't be yourself but be this person you want to represent and also don't expect that you know just like doing some dances or like playing a music is already enough to get some good point like really try to um to tell the audience who doesn't know the character and the background of your character um who you portray you know try to like um, um overact you know do like the things with your hands what people are doing in theater and stuff um check out musicals for example you know maybe do some voice acting and stuff like that use some background music also like props and like uh, like uh, stuff in the background also gives you some plus points as well and maybe don't do the things you would have in mind when it comes to a character like in the very first minute like if you're doing Elsa don't don't do the frozen song number seven and what happens after the costume competition so I don't think I have to say that but I have to say it stay until the winners are getting announced because i judged already at so many costume competitions and the winners got announced and some of the winners actually already left home because they didn't expect that they would win anything and this was like very very sad so please stay until the end until the winners got announced maybe you even want something this would be nice as well and just stay for the pure respect of the event and also like for the other participants and organizers Yes, uh, very important. Um, use the time to hang out with your fellow participants, you know, take some selfies, become friends, talk about materials and techniques, uh, get motivated, and finally go home and start crafting with the next. 
well and that was it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i was able to answer uh, hopefully many of your questions regarding to custom competitions i hope i was able to inspire you and motivate you to participate as well because as i said costume competitions are absolutely amazing uh, as long as you don't expect to win they are a great great experience if you don't expect to win and yeah if you have any questions left uh, just write me a comment down below and if you don't know what to write if you uh, just 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 you still want to write and like support us with the youtube algorithm just uh, join the corgi squad and write down corgi and uh, in addition to that please as always like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and see you very soon bye bye oh yeah and since there were no corgis in this video yet here's a corgi here's Zelda she's very cute and she's very sleepy because it's already ooh. 9 p.m. We soon have to go to bed. Mm. Bye bye. Good night.